Hello and welcome, this is Kendra, and today I'm sharing another two sheet wonder file for the new Card Cut Essentials dies one and two that are available for purchase at Pink and Main. Each of these die sets include a big 6x6 six six die that will cut a full sheet of 6x6 six six paper in one pass through a die cutting machine and give you a bunch of different shapes that you can use to create different card layouts. It also includes additional shapes and banner dies. These were released on August 16th of 2024 and I shared a free PDF digital download called Two Sheet Wonder Number 1 that included six sketches showing how to cut two sheets of pattern paper with these dies, using up all of the pieces, leaving no scraps. If you missed my introduction video when the new release products launched, I will link that above and in the description box so you can learn more about how I created these dies and check out all of the cards that I created. There are two different dies that you can purchase individually, but you can also get these as a bundle at Pink and Main. What's great about the bundle is that you also get a free download that contains 56 card sketches for ideas on how to use the pieces included in the dies, and this comes straight from Pink and Main. This die set is great for beginner card makers and those who enjoy creating cards using pattern paper. If you get card making kits each month, these dies help you to make lots of cards. I love that it includes these separate shapes so you can layer the fishtail banners, plus you get several different size hearts, stars, and hexagons. Most of the dies included have stitching also. It comes with a word and shadow die that says hello in this scripty font and a zigzag circle plus a zigzag border strip. And I love that you can use these square shapes from both die sets to create shakers. I'm using this paper pad here called Be Kind from Pink and Main and I'll be showing the finished cards for the two sheet wonder file number two. I actually cut up these 10 sheets of paper using the dies so that I could mix and match the patterns to make a bunch of cards. If you've been a subscriber to my channel for a while, you know that I like to make cards in bulk and I try to use up all of the pieces so that I don't have any scraps left over. So I also used this Pink and Main stamp set. This is called Hap B Fall. This is the stamp of the month for August of 2024 and it did have coordinating dies. And I also used a sentiment from this stamp set here called Sweet as Honey. A few members of the Kendra's Card Challenges design team will be sharing creations as part of this giveaway hop using these Card Cut Essentials dies. So all you need to do to enter to win is complete the form that's linked in the description box before September 19th. I'll be randomly selecting the winner after the hop ends and will announce it on my YouTube channel under the community tab. So make sure you're a subscriber and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads or posts. As mentioned before, I'm sharing another two sheet wonder file number three that includes six additional sketches using up all of the pieces in these two dies in different ways or combinations. Here is the first card using sketch number one from the printable. I used a die cut sentiment at the bottom and the hello word and shadow die in the center of this card, but you could put a larger stamped image in the diamond. And then this is the next card using sketch two. I just love the zigzag circle and the zigzag across the bottom. And then this is the card I made using sketch three. I put a square piece of coral cardstock behind this uh, circle cutout to make the images stand out more. And then this next card was made using sketch four. This one is a little different, but I ended up making two cards using this design. So for the first one, I glued the pieces directly onto the card base. So I'll show you how I made the second one. So I started with a black panel that I embossed with a hexagon 3D embossing folder and I'm gluing the pieces onto the panel this time. So you'll wanna take the window shape die cut and cut it down the center at a diagonal. And you'll basically put each of the points together in the center on top of that panel. And then one of the squares will go in the center covering up the, the two points and you'll put it on there as a diamond. And then you'll wanna cut the other square in half at a diagonal. And these pieces will go along the top and the bottom of the card. You'll want to trim off the pieces hanging over the edge of the panel before gluing it onto the card base. And then you want to make sure that you glue the two triangle pieces, that smaller square that you cut in half, you'll want to make sure that you glue those to the top and the bottom edges of the panel. So 
So I glued this onto my card base and then I'm taking that middle diamond and I'm popping that up with some foam tape. And for this card, I'm using the Hello Word and Shadow die cut. And I'm going to add that on top of the diamond. So I will need to add some foam tape to the ends of the Hello to make it all level. And if you haven't purchased these dies yet, the links to the Card Cut Essentials dies are also listed below in the description box. And these are affiliate links, which means if you make a purchase, I earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. And this helps to support my channel. To hop along to get lots of card making inspiration using these dies, click on the playlist that's in the description box. You can enter the giveaway for each video that you watch along the hop for more chances to win. And here's the card that I made with Sketch 5. I used the largest hexagon individual die to cut four that coordinate with the banner in the top right corner. And I placed three of the bees around, one laying on the hexagon that I stamped the sentiment onto, another one sitting on the bottom hexagon, and the other one flying off to the right to help fill in that white space. Now you could use stars or hearts instead of hexagons with the same layout for a different look. And then this is the last card using Sketch 6. I started with a hexagon embossed panel. Now the sketch doesn't call for layers on the diamonds or behind this panel, but I wanted to add a darker color to help make the shapes pop a little bit. So with any of the sketches, you can always add additional layers. Now I placed the bee sitting on the hello sentiment, and I just love how all of these cards turned out. And what I love about the Card Cut Essentials dies is that there are so many possibilities, plus you get all of those card sketches. Now the Two Sheet Wonder number 3 PDF printable is available for download for free by VIP patrons over in my Patreon shop. And if you're not a VIP paid member of my Patreon program, you can purchase this digital download for only $3. I will have the link directly to this file in the description box below. Now if you'd like more information about my Patreon membership program and all of the benefits and perks you can receive as a paid member, visit patreon.com forward slash Kendra's card challenges. I really hope you've enjoyed this video today. If so, please click the thumbs up button. And also don't forget to click on the playlist down below in the description box to hop along for more chances to win. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Happy crafting! Thank you.